alcohol o'clock on real ale craft beer. Um, I was in Brew London about a month or so ago now, and I come across a lovely brewery from Finland. Uh, they're called Rock Paper Scissors, and they talked to me about a, a very famous drink that become very popular when Finland hosted the Olympic Games, the, the Winter Olympics. It's a gin long drink, 5% ABV, 330 milliliter can, rock, paper, scissors, fantastic name for a, for a brewery. Uh, first of all, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. So during the Winter Olympics, 20 odd years ago, everybody drank this. It became very, very popular with the tourists traveling to Finland for the Winter Olympics. It was like one of the best selling drinks there. So um, they explained this to me and they said, just take a can away, take a can away, enjoy it. They had major problems, major, major problems trying to get this drink to the UK. It got caught in customs. So they made their way on the aeroplane, launching this product in the UK. And their product got caught in customs, so they couldn't get it over yet. And they spent the first two days like twiddling their thumbs. Um, but they come on a podcast with us. We did a bit of podcasting. Um, we had a chat, we had a drink, we had a laugh, they explained the, the, the drink. And just as we were about to leave, literally two, three hours left of the festival, this alcohol, the, some of the beers turned up, uh, this gin long drink turned up, and they were like, take it away, take it away. And of course, I brought some back in my bag, and, and here we are reviewing it. So it's been a long, on a long journey, this drink. It, of course, it's not beer. It's something else. It's a. It says concentra juice, concentrated juice uh, with gin. It's double grapefruit, five percent ABV. Apparently, it's very, very refreshing. So hazy, like silver, doesn't it? It's got like a light silvery look to it. A little bit of carbonation, aroma. Oh, that smells very different. Mmm, loads of grapefruit, loads of lemon from the concentrate, and then some gin. My first gin long drink. Here we go. Cheers, everyone. Wow, super carbonated. Ooh, now that's good. That's really good. It's not beer, is it? It's not beer. If this was beer, I'd be banging on about concentrates and stuff, but it's not. It's not, it's not beer. It's, it's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be concentrate. It's supposed to be gin. Ooh, now then. They were talking to me about how refreshing this drink is. This is ultimately, I mean, I've got it quite cold. That is super, super refreshing. The gin, the juniper and the gin mixes very nicely with that grapefruit concentrate. It gives it a little bit of an edge and you're getting a little bit of an alcohol burn as the gin hits you, the pit of your stomach. It's, it's quite a nice drink, you know. So because of the popularity of this drink back in the Olympics 20 odd years ago, this brewery, Rock Paper Scissors, because they do produce beer as well. I drank a New England IPA with Pint Please recently. Um, they seem to think that this is the next big thing. If you have a look at the world of or the area of drinks that are trying to be super refreshing, super healthy, if you like. Some of these kind of 
what do they call them, seltzers, where it's just carbonated water with a little bit of fruit flavour and alcohol. Now, I, I don't like seltzer. Um, I, I, I've had some awful seltzers. Mind you, I did have a good one. I did have a good seltzer in Brew London. That was really good. But my only other seltzers were from, uh, I think they were Molson Coors. And they were awful. Had seltzer. Didn't like it at all. If you put this, if you offered me this, or a hard seltzer, as a refreshing, light drink, just relatively healthy. Gin is relatively healthy. I can't imagine the, the concentrates being too unhealthy for you in this drink. Then I would definitely, I would take this all day long. Take this all day long. This, for me, this gin long drink, should be the seltzer of 2022. It should replace seltzer because it's far better. So much more flavour. Really lovely and light, spritzery like. It's got that kind of hiss and fizz and of carbonation. Wonderfully refreshing. You can chill it right down. I could smash a couple of these back, you know. Sweetness, yeah, there's some sweetness there. But really interesting. Really interesting. Uh, everything, oh, there's a little bit of English. Uh, we call it concentrate juice, some call it the grey matter. This drink's origin comes way back from the 1950s. This is our take on the national beverage of Finland. We added both white and pink grapefruit to it for your satisfaction, which is with this drink guaranteed. Oh. Satisfaction guaranteed. Oh, you can also rate this long drink in the Pint Please app. It says it down the side of the can. So go to rpsbrewing.com. FL to have a little kind of look at this beer or this gin long drink. I'm getting confused. I'm calling it a beer myself. It's really interesting. I could drink a few of these. I could definitely drink a few of these. It's um I'd like to try some other flavours. I'm pretty sure they got some other flavours in the in the range. This grapefruit one is is I'm glad I picked it up, it's really tasty. And totally imagine. This going down really well with the ladies. I totally imagine that. So a rating for me then. Oh, um, and not to be confused with... I mean, I like my beer to taste like beer. This is not beer. This is something else. This is its own drink. It's a, it's a concentrate. It, it, it's a grapefruit concentrate. But it works. It works for gin. It's its own drink. It's not... So, so I know... I do rate, I, I do rant and rave. I do rant and rave about concentrates going in beer because I think hops should flavour beer. This is not beer, so hops doesn't necessarily have to, have to flavour this, does it? It's a different drink. I like it, it's interesting. I'm glad I got to try it. And I'm glad I got to meet the lovely, lovely, lovely people from Rock, Paper, Scissors. That's wicked. It's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.